Welcome to the Louie file. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to sneak up on Tracy and we're going to interrogate her. So come with me, if you will. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, there she is right there. All right. So the question is, tell me how you got saved. <laughs> well, um, me and my brother were going to this little church for a couple of Sundays and, uh, one day, well, these little kids kept going into this room and, like, disappearing. And this, you know, was intriguing. Didn't know where they were going or what they were doing. And so, um, my brother went in there one day and one Sunday. And so, I was like, well, I want to go in there with my brother. So, I went in there and sure enough, they were given the plan of salvation. And so, I just said a prayer because my brother said the prayer. You know, I can't really say a whole lot happened to me. I was about probably eight years old or so. Anyway, I, I grew up, and we were continued to go to church and stuff. And then when I was about 12 years old, I really started to question whether, you know, I did that for the right reason or not. So um, I went to the pastor's wife, and she went through some verses and said, Do you believe this? Do you believe this? And I said, Yeah, I do. And, and so I thought we were going to pray again, you know, get baptized again. But we didn't do any of that. She just asked me, Do you believe what the Bible says? And, and I did. I believe it. And um, so uh, I felt like I had made assurance of my salvation at that time. And uh, I just knew that Christ was in my life. And, and he's been there ever since. And even though I, I've turned my back on him through my life, he's never left me. And uh, there's so many times I can look back now at my life and see that he's, he was there the whole time. I mean, so many bad things could have happened to me, but they didn't. And uh, he, was, he was there uh, all along. So, uh, but you know... I. I'm glad that you asked that, really, because, you know, when uh, when Louis got saved in 2001 was really when my life really started changing because he delved into the Word and started um, getting this supernatural understanding of things that, you know, I've heard probably my whole life or have never heard. How did he know these things? <laughs> I didn't really understand, but anyway, so really, Louis and I have been on this journey together, and it's really been amazing, and I feel like um, God has just filled me up all the time. And um, not that I wasn't already filled, but it's uh, more of a um, an understanding maybe of me with Him. But anyway, I I love the Christian life and and having Christ in me, living in me as me. It's been an amazing journey. <laughs> All right, so what would you say to somebody right now if they came to you and said, I want to get saved? Wow. Um, well, if someone wanted to, uh, I guess I would have to make sure that they knew what, what they were being saved from and what that salvation really meant. Because it's really putting your trust in Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross. Not that He just died on the cross for your sins, but that he, he had a body death, and that was for the sin, which is the root, the very sin maker. And that he, not, uh, he didn't stay dead, that, he, that God raised him from the dead, that he was alive, that he walked on the earth he, to, um, to prove that he was alive. And then he ascended into the heavens and um, was seated at the right hand of the Father. And, and any of us who put our trust in him, that's where we are as well. And we have inherited everything that Jesus is. And um, so if you really um, believe in what Jesus did on the cross, the, the death, burial, and resurrection, then you too will be saved. Because it's not about our actions or behavior, but it's our trust in Him and what He did. He's amazing, and He loves us so much. <laughs> so He is our salvation. He is. He's our keeper. He is our keeper. It's, All right. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome, Hollister girl. <laughs> Malibu surf. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, see you next time. All right. Well, that's all there is for now at the Louis File. Tune in next time, and uh, you'll never know what you might see. See you later.